Hello everybody and welcome to CPP is me. Today I'll be showing you how to program Pascal's triangle in C++. Pascal's triangle is a triangle of numbers where each number is the sum of the two numbers above it. For example, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, and so on. Before undertaking a visual and mathematical program, you need to lay out what types of functions you need. First, you need a counter to keep track of how many rows there are. Second, you need to have a counter to keep track of how many columns there are. And finally, a loop to calculate which value is to be displayed. All of these can be achieved using for loops. The code already displayed on the screen is asking the user for the number of Pascal rows to be displayed in the triangle. First, we need to create a for loop that will count the number of rows. So we go for, open parentheses, integer i equals zero i is less than rows, and increment i, or i++. plus plus. Next, we declare an integer val, which is equal to 1. Val is the value of the Pascal's triangle that is going to be displayed. Now what we do is we create a function for the number of columns, which is going to be standard character out dot width with open and close parentheses, and within those parentheses, rows minus, minus i. This will tidy up the columns, except it does get a little messy when the numbers start to get into the double and triple digits. Now, we create a for loop with integer x equal to 0, x less than or equal to i, and then we increment x or x plus plus. This for loop is going to contain the equation we use to calculate the value to be displayed in the triangle. So first, we standard character out the current value of val and then a space. The space will come in later. Then we set the new value of val. So we go val equals val times parentheses i minus x tab to get out and then divided by or over x plus 1. This equation is the Pascal triangles equation in iteration form. Now what we do is we just exit out of that and then standard character out standard and line. And then once it iterates all the way through and the number of Pascal rows is equal to i, or i is equal to the number of Pascal rows, we standard character out standard end line. So now we have our basic function. Let's build it and see if it works. And let's run it. Let's have the number of Pascal rows, five. And there you have it. That is Pascal's triangle coded in C++. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.